thank you i think we will have we have one more presenter and that's in my view a very important presentation and bina yeah i'll introduce uh, him first yeah please please it's my privilege to introduce mr chetranjan rege head of the product management team base metals at the multi commodity exchange of india uh, mr rege plays a pivotal role at mcx overseeing the identification and listing of new products expanding participation in the metals complex and promoting mcx as a preferred platform for hedging and risk management with an impressive career spanning over 29 years mr rege brings deep expertise in financial and commodity risk management his experience bridges both corporate treasury functions and leadership roles in top financial consultancies prior to joining mcx he was associated with industry leaders like hindalco industries and uh, ernest and young we are honored to have him with us today to share his insights on market trends and strategies in the metals domain welcome mr chitranjan uh, you yeah, thank you thank you very much uh, uh, sir thank you very much bina ma'am for this opportunity uh you know the i mean to the extent uh, you know about uh, mcx or the domestic ecosystem having had success in the other contracts and not as much in steel uh you know i i can you know while we also have currently listed one uh which is fe500 with the combination of 12 mm and x raipur uh bis grade uh so you know my so the, to answer your question in a very uh, simplistic manner uh the our our success largely comes from the fact how we can standardize a contract uh to keep it least complicated uh and most acceptable to everyone and uh, everyone in a sense both buy side and sell side and Uh, also to uh, to the financial players so that you know it becomes relevant for them to take a price view based on that uh now it's very you know generalistic statement but you know the 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 real challenge which i face or what we face on ground is in a nutshell i would like to explain is is like this the uh you know clearly there is a divide i mean we cannot do away with the fact that there is uh, there are integrated players on one side and there are uh you know people who are not integrated and uh in terms of the quality output uh there is endless debate uh, happens and you know when so what we also tried in the recent attempt was to standardize this by saying that is it possible for us to say that anyone who is uh bis uh you know licensed uh and if they are producing the you know like for example if 500 then is how would that work uh now you know compared to the other products other products when i say you know the brief mention of the copper aluminum and all of this the or even gold and silver the the purest form or the most acceptable form becomes uh the starting point then everything else is all plus minus whether you know you go back the value chain you are you know giving a discount when you go up the value chain you are asking for a premium you know steel uh, is is a unique uh you know products are it's a it's a alloy to itself i mean you know there are so many things which go into contributing or making of steel uh that unless either you have all the ingredients which are standardized and you you club all of that into and you can come out with an uh price uh for it but uh the final output can actually be uh, tailored in multiple ways and what we slowly are realizing uh that the uh you know instead of trying to dissect and probably get more educated on that front might as well uh, you know divide the uh, you know start focusing on one side because you know go, i mean uh, you know it, it's very difficult to to ascertain or talk to with very confident confidence that whether it is the non integrated setting the tone for the price or it is the integrated which is you know you're setting the the tone of the price but i think what's what's imperative and what's most uh, desirable uh, that none of the two is ignoring each other so if if we take sides uh, you know so to say then it is for uh, you know the it is much better that we we go uh, with uh, a grade a size or a location which is acceptable to one 
I mean, either for the integrated players or for the non-integrated players, and just stick to that, because once the price discovery becomes, uh, you know, uh, this thing, then I think everything else will will say, you know, I mean, if it is a primary product price discovery, then the rest of the people can say that I can be at a premium or a discount based on the location, based on the size, based on the grade, uh, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, and as it happens, sir, it's easy easy for me to say, but uh, the biggest raw material sources you know the orissas and and uh, karnatakas of the world so uh, the 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 cost of that metal at that location is the cheapest and once it travels from there to somewhere else it becomes costlier uh, so so our sense is that uh, then it becomes a simple equation between uh, a standard product x uh, you know x factory uh, of, of the primary producer and then the other side is the consumer. So if the consumption centers are say Maharashtra and you know up north, uh, where the 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 logistic cost without a doubt will be so 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 much. Uh, but you know Maharashtra for that matter, you know just for example, I want to take that it becomes an excellent combination for consumption, excellent combination for a, a decent proximity uh, for the metal to to come and get delivered there. And also, I mean, you know, I do not want to touch to or put too much emphasis today on on imports. But at some point in time in the international trade, viability of a location from the import point of view also plays a role. So it may not have a role today, but when as and when it happens, that it would have a role to play. So uh, at our end, you know, the uh, the, the learning has been uh, like this that we have to, uh, you know, the we tried hard to actually simplify it by saying that you know, actually five hundred. And you know, regardless of you know whichever way it gets produced, whether it is integrated or non-integrated, as long as the quality product is there, uh, you know, with 12 mm X Rypor uh, and a monthly contract, last three days being deliverable, that is how we have designed our other contracts uh, on the delivery side. And we thought this this uh, recipe probably would also work for 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 steel. Uh, but yes, the you know as as Mangesh also mentioned, Kundu Saab also mentioned. And also, Chandrasekhar Sahib had clearly mentioned uh, in his earlier uh, presentation that the rate of change of demand, you know, we are still able to beat uh, and, and we are consistently growing, uh, which means that the, uh, the the quality production requirement definitely has to cope up. And uh, the the uncertainties which, which govern the raw material, whether it is domestically available or, and, you know, it, it doesn't matter, but even if we are domestically surplus, uh, but if the prices of the same product elsewhere or the outside are going to go up, you know there is there is no way that the you know the you uh, somebody can source it cheaper here because you know the the market will define market will bring the parallel uh, you know the uh, this thing and I think the cost of production uh, or cost of raw material here also will be uh, will be treated differently. So so our sense is the uh, we continue to believe that uh, uh, end product. Uh, so in in our case, uh, particularly we think that the steel rebar or HRC for that matter would be a good product. Uh, continue to believe that it is going to be uh, because you know everything else in the value chain behind the value chain has its own challenges. I mean there are certain so if we take billet, then you know the size of billet and the quality of stuff, uh, the preferences, uh, what's relevant for uh, say uh, Mumbai surrounding and what is relevant for the uh, Raipur surrounding and what is you know, relevant for the integrated, everything is different. So uh, we do not want to end up having been able to address a quality issue, do not want to end up with the uh, size and the shape and the delivery issues, uh, uh, so to say. So our, our, our theme theory uh, essentially now for steel has been that let's look at only the end product, the, the final consumption product, which will eventually go to the buyers uh, because that has already got standardized. It has got already acceptable uh, this thing. It has logistics are already established in place, uh, and rest will take its own uh, you know uh, fall in place. So so that's where we are. And and uh, on steel, you are absolutely right, sir. That the domestic uh, the exchanges we have not been able to come out with a very viable uh, solution as yet. Uh, but we haven't given up. Uh, you know the you know progressively whatever we have done. I think the another another change to align ourselves to one side of the market and i think then then we may have a more workable solution that's that's where we are sir at the moment i appreciate it and i understand the challenges uh, challenge that you are facing 
uh, highly non-standard kind of uh, in a product I, I, I appreciate. Anyway.